I've been a producer now for a good few years, but I didn't know what a producer was. And I think what I think could be helpful in this talk is for us to explain that there are other things out there. You know, there's loads and loads of opportunities. So if you, you're allowed to be broadly interested in exploring the media, you know, in TV alone, which is what Jodie and I are working, there are so many jobs, you know, so many crew jobs, so many production jobs. Jobs that you probably didn't even know existed. Yeah, yeah. But obviously everyone wants to be, everyone wants to be, an, like, if you want to be in the industry, they want to be an actor or they want to be the director or they want to be the producer. They're desperately short of technical guys from lighting, sparks, chippies, focus as pullers. in joiners, yeah. focus pullers, you know, and sound. This man will vouch for me. They're just crying out for people for sound in the TV industry. Particularly up north, I don't know if it's as bad down here, but oh, it's, yeah. almost like, it's almost like a dying trade. Yeah. And, you know, great career, great money, and you're in the industry. And you're part of a team. It's mm. brilliant being part of a team, part of a crew. Mm. Hey, what's, what's a focus puller? How, how a focus puller is the one that makes sure that the cameraman is shooting in focus. Right. It's constantly yeah, measuring right. the distance between the thing you're focusing on, i.e. the actor or the vase of flowers, and making sure that the focus is working. It's a brilliant, brilliant job. Oh, um, yeah, no, focus yeah, exactly. focus pullers and all yeah. yeah. Um, what happens with big shows like EastEnders or Holby or whatever, they can afford to take on trainees. Well, you know, what it's worth doing is looking at you know, Googling who makes up a television crew, you know, and then you'll see loads of jobs and you'll think, I don't quite know what they all are. Find out, see if any of them appeal. Get Go them for it. Like, how much experience do people expect when you're trying to get onto the technical side of things? I was just going to come to that as it happens. Yeah. Um, BBC do stuff for trainees and not minimal experience to no experience where they'll take people on. I've never looked into it myself. Nicola can probably fill you more where you go on work periods like work placements and you work for eight weeks for free. And then if they like you, they might take you on I mean, for a few months and then yeah. you might get a job. It's a mixture but of training schemes, free work, you know, can I be free a trainee? Free work's always great. Can I be a trainee whilst you shoot your film at, your short film at the NFT, you third year finalist student? What I would never do is put someone that had no experience of being on the floor, even in a trainee's position, because you just accidentally walk in front of the camera or, you know, make noise once the cam once the <coughs> we've started turning over. So for me, if you've aggregated some experience in a shooting environment, then that shows me you've driven and that you're going to know in, uh, how to conduct yourself. If you've got no te technical ability but a load of potential, I still consider you. I'm in my second year of A-levels. And um, I started studying film at the start of A-levels and I decided I loved it. I quite like doing like editing and cinematography. And really? Maybe, like, I want to look into doing, or like, try like producing director maybe. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So you've got some loads of things you're interested in. There's a real, once again, there's a real shortage of female editors as well mm -hmm. in the industry. It's, you know, um, you're, what a brilliant opportunity because you, you, you might have 60 hours of footage in, in your edit suite, but you're the one that chooses the narrative, you're the one that chooses each and every shot to tell the best story. It's such an amazing job. And for me as a producer, I'm always interested in meeting people that are interested in the tech, the tech jobs or other behind the scenes jobs because they're amazingly rewarding and um, they make the show come together. Like I couldn't do, um, be a good drama producer with gra without great makeup artists or great costume designers or great... Props buyers. Yeah, props buyers, exactly.